All right, we're going to talk about vertigo. First thing we're going to do, any patient that comes in with dizziness, we want to distinguish between presyncope and vertigo, okay? Presyncope is a cardiovascular disease, while vertigo is a neurological disease, all right? So what's our first step anytime we got a patient coming in dizzy? We want to see if it's cardiovascular, or we want to see if it's neurological. If the patient has presyncope, they're going to feel lightheaded as if they're going to black out, okay? They're also coming with weakness, palpitations, and shortness of breath. Now, if you see these symptoms, a patient that's getting kind of dizzy, lightheaded, as if they're going to black out, they come in with weakness, palpitations, with shortness of breath, you got to do an upright tilt table testing, okay? And if that, at this point an arrhythmia is indicated, you got to do a 24-hour Holter monitor, all right? Now, vertigo presents a little differently, okay? It's going to be a dizziness, but this patient's going to actually get a sensation as if they're moving when they're actually not moving, okay? Um, it's going to be like as if the world is moving around them, okay? They're going to come in with nausea and vomiting, and once we've, once we've come to the conclusion that the patient has vertigo, the next, next step we're going to do is we're going to determine whether it's central or peripheral vertigo, okay? What's the difference? Central, gradual onset. Peripheral, sudden onset. Okay? So first thing, is it gradually onset or is there sudden onset? If there's sudden onset, we know it's peripheral. If there's gradual onset, it's central onset. Okay? In central also, you see these characteristics. There's no hearing loss or tinnitus. Um, there's vertical nystagmus. Okay? Examples of central nystagmus. Causes, brainstem tumor, ischemia bleed, drug, drug overdose, or MS. What is a specific finding, a sensitive finding, I'm sorry, for MS? Oligoclonal bands. Remember, oligoclonal bands we'll see in MS. And what are we doing to treat acute MS? We're giving them steroids, right? And um, beta interferon is actually only given in relapsing and remitting multiple sclerosis. Um, we know that as you... Um, move north of the equator, your your prevalence of MS is actually going to increase. That's why it's actually seen higher in a population of Scandinavians, right? Um, peripheral, we said the sudden onset, no neighboring signs. They have positive hearing loss or tinnitus and horizontal nystagmus, okay? Examples of this, Meniere's disease, labyrinthitis, benign positional vertigo. And we're going to go over the differences and how to tell the, all these apart right now, okay? But basically, most important question to answer, what's the treatment of peripheral ver vertigo? And it's going to be meclizine, okay? And only if it's severe do we go to diazepam, all right? If it's severe, we go to diazepam. Otherwise, symptomatic peripheral vertigo, it's going to be meclizine, all right? Now, let's start out with many years disease. It's going to be, patient's going to present with episodic vertigo, um, hearing loss, and tinnitus, okay? They're going to have a feeling of fullness in their ear as well, all right? Um, most common cause is syphilis and head trauma. And how are you going to treat these patients? Low salt diet and diuretics, okay? And, <coughs> and if therapy fails, you're going to surgical compression. Labyrinthitis. This is going to be with sudden onset of vertigo. And it's going to last several days. It's going to last several days as we see here, right? <clears throat> Many years disease is only going to last one to eight hours. Labyrinthitis. Itis. Itis. Think infection. It's going to follow a URI. Okay? Same thing. Symptomatic. Meclizine. Okay? And if symptoms get severe, we're going to diazepam. All right, just like we talked about up here. Benign positional vertigo. This is going to be only lasting 60 to 90 seconds, and this is pretty much going to happen when you suddenly move your head. So when the patient suddenly moves their head and they get this vertigo, this is going to be benign positional vertigo. All right? And our treatment is positional maneuvers that attempt to move the ololith out of the circular canals. Perilymphatic fistula. Um, this is going to be related to head trauma, 
such as um, trauma to the ear, barotrauma during flight, or scuba diving. Our treatment is gonna be strict bed rest, head elevation, no strenuous activities, and if after five to seven days symptoms persist, surgical exploration. And that ends our vertigo discussion.